Welcome to the Pixelberry Choices Podcast and today we're going to be talking about Chapter 3 of Princess Swap. So in the last chapter we saw the swap happening and Daisy and Rose are enjoying each other's lives in each other's shoes and they sort of got a taste of how it feels like and they wanted to do those things. Daisy always wanted to live like a princess and Rose always wanted to be free. Um, you know, all the courtly manners and stuff. She wanted to be free of those and just enjoy the life for the hell of it. So that's what they did. A night out. But now we saw at the end of the last chapter, chapter 2, that Daisy's roommate was getting suspicious of Rose. So finally Rose admits that they have done the swap and the roommate believes it because she says it is quite the answer, you know, the right explanation because Daisy never liked parties and the way Rose went to the party. So it was kind of obvious to she said that it was the best reasonable answer or uh, explanation to that. And with that done, we also say that this is only for the weekend and we're going to live as Rose. Uh, Rose is going to live as Daisy. So what happens here, we go to the sorority house meeting. So we see with um, uh, Daisy's best friend and we tell Daisy's best friend that Rose says to Daisy's best friend, it's kind of confusing with all the names here, you know, who is who, but you know, that while Rose is here, she's going to help her. So we go to the Theta sorority meeting and we see all the other alphas, you know, um, the Thetas, uh, we are Delta, so the Theta is there, Stephanie, who is a not very nice person, and then we see that we are getting the feeling that all of the people are different the alphas are different and there are a few who have very strange aura than the theaters so we understand that the people we saw who are Daisy's roommate they have a different place they have a different vibe than the rest of the alphas or you know other houses and so only Delta accepted them and so it should be that way but now when they hit us with a new rule that if there is less member the sorority house would be down the sorority house won't be allowed to go on anymore so we have Delta sorority we don't have many members a lot of students dropped out so we are in danger so we need membership so we say that we're going to help the Delta sorority house. So first we need to hand out flyers. But not a lot of people are, you know, into that or showed an interest. But our flyer was trying to convince, uh, convey the message that we're going to have a house party. But then again, Devin to the rescue. He comes, uh, she, Devin comes and they help us. So basically they design an alternate party message and we can print it and then it would attract a lot of people than before. And also there was an exclusive scene which I didn't take. So there is some band and cheer people who we can convince to come to the party to increase our chances for Delta sorority survival and again what happens is that we know the weekend is coming closer so whenever David says goodbye it feels like it's gonna be forever for Rose on the other hand in the castle um, not in the castle in the palace Monterey Kingdom Daisy is enjoying as a princess and now we meet with Clark and Clark said all this stuff about courting us so we get angry uh, Daisy gets angry that why would you say those things you never asked for my permission whether I want to get married or not so then there's Mary Prince or Princess Clark says that they don't have an intention to marry us or propose us so it's just a thing we're playing it you know for the relationship between the two countries 
and he got to know that centuries ago some stuff happened you know both the countries blamed each other for not helping at certain points and they're still holding the same grudge after centuries on each other they're trying to smooth the relationship now and for that this uh, marriage proposal so after hearing that we feel a lot relieved that Clark doesn't want to marry us so again there's a new trope here I remember that happened in a very scandalous proposal you know so I feel like you know Rose uh, Daisy will ultimately fall for Clark and vice versa Clark will fall for Daisy you know one of the best rom-com tropes and then we prepare for the ball Clark's welcome ball and we sort of talk through it and we see Clark is very relaxed and so we do all the planning what we should do how we're gonna go about it but Clark is just relaxed and he says no matter what we do we're gonna piss off some people so you know Clark is not interested at all so a very strange calmness and you know casualness we're seeing in Clark's personality about these royal things so we know he or uh, she Clark they are a rock type you know they're not going to so they're not all keen to the whole royalty thing but we then in a dimension can plan who sits where while eating some desserts with the desserts so this is a very interesting diamond scene and I took that diamond scene with Clark and I'm gonna go for Clark and uh, um, Daisy's all the diamond scenes from now can because you know I'm feeling really interested in this uh, relationship here the dynamic between these two <coughs> excuse me so then we just um, talk through and we bond with Clark in that scene and we make sure where Clark will sit us and where all the people will sit us what consequences it would have and Clark says the same thing you know no matter who you make someone sit beside it's always gonna have consequences some people are gonna like it some people don't like it I think there's a guy Lord Cecile who is the antagonist type of guy here and we make him sit far away who was against the ball to begin with and then we can also have a whole nice some moment with Clark you know um, we will name a dessert as Clark and we'll eat it and so you know we'll have something on our uh, cor uh, on the corner of our lips and Clark will point, uh, point it out and very wholesome moment and finally Clark will say goodbye and while Clark saying goodbye to Daisy it would feel to Daisy as it's a forever goodbye because Daisy doesn't know when she's gonna meet Clark again so something uh, there's a pang of disappointment in her heart when she when she realizes what this goodbye means when Clark says goodbye to her so again a really interesting you know the way the chemistry you know the seems like you know the disappointment that they're not going to be together anymore what could happen so that was a really interesting way to go about it liking it so far and then finally we need to re-swap you know again change our places back to our normal lives so we go meet Rose at the conservatory and we say our goodbyes to Avalyn and Avalyn says that she enjoyed her company a lot and hugs us and tells us that we'll love to meet us any day and we'll be so glad if we swap again and we go to the conservatory and when we go to the conservatory we see um, Rose there so Rose Daisy both of them they really enjoyed their lives and they're not contented enough now so and then again like just before they said it together what if we swap places and they said what if it doesn't have to end tonight so they're not going to swap back but they're going to stay in their roles meaning Daisy is gonna be the princess um, hosting the ball welcome ball and um, Rose is gonna be saving the Theta sorority uh, Delta Theta Delta the Delta sorority house so this is gonna be interesting what would happen on the aftermath of this we'll find out in the next chapter but like I said in my previous video about the first impression of the princess swap this is one of the very very very, very interesting books you know Probably the plot is nothing, you know, there's not going to be too much of cliffhanger or, you know, something unknown factor or mystery. You know, a very nice, probably know what's going to happen, a rom-com, which is a very close to heart. And um, this is a really, really interesting book choice to produce. So far, full of plot, 
liking it let me know in the comments your thoughts and i'll see you in the next video with another say review a first impression and there's a lot crimes of passion it lives project and more i'll see you then peace out